So today we're going to go over a Dell laptop. This is a Dell 17 5000. And what we want to do is replace the battery. The battery life in this laptop has diminished over time and I've got a replacement battery. The link will be in the description. This came from Amazon. It's a direct replacement. It, if you look at the old one compared to this one, it's identical. So here's the battery itself and it's got all the information on the battery on here same watt hour same voltage so this is what we're going to replace and they actually send with this kit they send tools to do the job and there's some instructions in here just talks about the storage of the battery it's not actually how to do an installation so i'm not going to go through that right now but we've got driver bits for the screws on the laptop so these come with the kit if you needed some screws screwdrivers to take the laptop apart in the first place I had a few already sitting out just in case so I'd have the right size now I've already done the memory update on this if you use crucial memory you can do a scan on your computer any computer and I'll tell you the current memory on the computer and it'll also tell you what the max you can max your memory out if you're trying to max out your RAM or your ROM so I've already updated the RAM on this so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take out all the screws on the back here so there's four across the top these three these two these two and then the two in the middle at the bottom and then the two on this side and what we're gonna do is we're going to go through and pull all the screws out first and then start working on the back cover. The two sides are going to come apart, so I'm going to undo this USB plug on that side. That's for, um, what is that for? That is for a wireless mouse. And once we take these screws out, I think it's this screw in particular, the tray for the DVD drive can come out. And once we take the screws out, we'll actually start on this end and start prying this edge apart first and then work our way down the sides to the bottom. You can't start on the bottom. There's some clips and things in here that you'll break if you do it that way. So let's take the screws out. We'll need the Phillips head, which is the blue screwdriver. And order doesn't matter. You just have to go around and take all these screws out. So we'll just take each of these screws out one at a time and then once all the screws are out we'll start prying it apart. Make sure you put enough force down on these. If you don't put any force on them you will strip them out. Now I've noticed already that the screws are different in size so you need to pay attention to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a, a layout of kind of where the screws are and hopefully they'll stay in that order so that when I put it back together I'll know where the screws came from I could always go back if I had to and look at the video to see where a different size screw came out most of these are probably going to be the same see that's a problem if you Shoot the screws across the table, you're going to get your order mixed up. Helps if your screwdrivers are magnetic. Alright, so that's all the screws. Don't check to make sure they're all out. You don't want to go pry on this thing and find out you left a screw in and break the plastic. So now the tray over here can just slide out. There's two more screws. Now these are some weird ones. These are these little, sorry about that. These are some little plastic screws and they're not easy to get out from what I remember. They're still Phillips head. So I'm going to use the same blue screwdriver as before 
you can see that it's like this little flat almost like a washer little skinny flat washer head there's three of them you have to take all them out the video that I watched previously to taking the cover off to get to the memory there's only had two for some reason so now we want to get in here on this part and start prying from this side first like I said you don't want to start prying at the bottom or at the other end anyway because you'll accidentally pull the um, you'll break the clips that are actually holding it together so So there's the bottom tray. While we're here, we'll probably clean some dust off here where the fan's been running, but looks like everything came out all in one piece. This is just a plastic back and looks like we didn't crack any of the clips on that. I'm just gonna set this aside for now. This is what we're gonna wanna look at. And this is, this is where the battery is and this is where the memory is. So on the battery this is what we're replacing so if you look at the new battery it's got the same mounting points it's got the same connector in the top and so same watt hour you can tell same type DWXOR 11.4 volt so up here this is where the memory is where I updated the memory on this already. Um, those are really easy. You just undo those clips on the sides and pull the memory out. So that's really easy to get to. I'll zoom in a little bit on the battery area here. I'm gonna take the four screws out on the corners. All right, so these are still Phillips the blue screwdriver so I'm not exactly sure what they sent the red one for maybe there's a matrix joke in there somewhere there's those four screws for the battery keep them together don't want to lose those they're kind of small so now the battery other than the actual cable here the battery's detached got a little flat head here should help with taking the connector off There's the connector we're working with right there. <clears throat> it looks like this is just a press fit. Yep. So, old battery, we're taking it out. Checking to see. Sometimes you can tell if there's a little bit of a bulge in the battery that you can tell where the cell is gone bad and this this side actually has a little bit of a rise to it right here so I think that might have been the one that went bad so there's the old out with the old in with the new press fit that in where it goes line up all the screws again Everything has a location. Now everything is just in reverse. Now if you look up the statistics, or the specifications anyway, on this laptop it says that this battery is supposed to last five hours and that you might get up to seven to seven and a half hours. 
So what we did is I started the, I got the computer up to a full charge and then unplugged it and I took screenshots or I took some pictures of the time when it first started and it showed the battery was 100% and then we watched it as it went down and so I've got the total time that it took for the battery to go down which is about 53, 54 minutes. So that's a fifth or a seventh of the total time it should stay charged while it's unplugged. So that was with the old battery, which we just took out. So now that we've got the new battery, what we'll do is we'll get this all put back together again. It's just a reverse of the order that we just did um, when we took it apart. So we're just going to take the cover and put it back on back in the reverse order. We'll get this put back together. And then once we get it put back together, what we'll do is we will run another test. We'll fully charge the new battery. And then once that battery is fully charged, then we'll do a time on it and see how long it takes for the battery to get completely discharged on the new battery. So that'll be our test. That's our battery replacement test. And as long as you don't have any problems getting this all to snap back in together, which I didn't have previously, but of course if I'm trying to film it, it's going to act a little bit different than it normally would. Let me zoom back out here real quick. this corner and this side are most important because you got to get over all the ports over here. And once you get that side then you can work your way across on the bottom and work your way up to the top. like all this is pushed back together now so we will reverse the order putting the screws in and kind of look through here and you can see if the screws aren't touching where the mounts are but since we're reversing the order we're going don't forget to put the little screws in on the side over here first where this is at now you can see it's actually this screw this little piece slides between the plastic and the metal mount underneath and that's what holds this in place it's the DVD tray so you should probably be able to see this slide in between there it is so now it's all the way in so that was, let's see, that was this screw. So we're going to put that in to hold the tray in. And I got a couple little ones I'll go ahead and put in, and the rest of them don't matter. They're all the same. So it makes sense that that screw is short, otherwise, it would jam into the DVD tray. And.
what we'll do is we'll get the power plugged in. And we're going to let this charge up. A little light on the front there came on, so that's a good sign. So that means the battery is taking a charge, at least according to the laptop, it believes it's taking a charge now. I'm going to put our USB plug back in. So we're going to let this charge and then what we're going to do is we're going to take um, <clears throat> we're going to take the take a time test on this and see how long this is going to take to fully charge so this is showing the charging, the little icon there shows that the, that it's plugged in, the little battery indicator. We're just going to be waiting for the computer to fully charge. And then what we'll do is we'll just unplug the power cord from it and then do a timer and see how long it takes before the computer actually dies, which should be a long time if it's going to take five to seven, seven and a half hours. But that's the longevity test to see the difference between new battery versus old battery, so that's what we're going to do next.